Hello and welcome. My name is Gemma and I'm the web designer and web developer at janeandphilbert.com if you don't already know me. And this video today is all about how to get set up online with your blog or your website and I'm going to be going through exactly all the things that you will need. So setting up your web hosting, registering your domain name and creating your very first WordPress website or blog. So the first step that we want to talk about is the web hosting. That's going to be the kind of the foundation of everything really. And the web host that I'm going to be using is dreamhost.com. Uh, that's the web host that I actually use for my website, janeandphilbert.com, for a number of my clients as well. And the reason I use them is that they they have excellent service, the price is really really affordable, and actually the hosting is brilliantly optimized specifically for WordPress. So to get started I've actually provided you with a link below this video so whether that's on YouTube or on my own website you will be able to see this below this video so you can click on that and follow through with me. So to get started you just click on the orange sign up now button and that takes you to the create an account page and all you need to do is just follow along with the form it's really quite simple it's basically like a four step set up to getting your hosting. We're going to create an account first of all, we're going to set up a domain which is basically choose a domain. Now I understand that there will be a number of people who have registered their domain elsewhere. I will go through this in a different video. This video is primarily for people who haven't got a domain name yet. We're going to set it up here. Create the account, configure the domain, we're going to choose the plan that we want to use and then we're going to review, finalize and pay for it. You're going to have to fill in a, your email address, your password, make sure that it's a good one. It gives you an indicator here of how good it is. Now on to a security question. I am a big fan <laughs> of, the of the security question they have here. If you could turn into any dinosaur for a day, what type would it be? See, this is my sort of company. That's brilliant. So just fill in all those details and once you've done that, hit the continue button. So here we are on the configure a domain. This is the second part of the setup of your web hosting. So we're just going to write in the domain name that you want. Now you can register a domain for free as long as it is a .com, .net, .org or .info and you can find out exactly which ones that, that are free by just clicking on the R selection. It's just a drop down panel that drops down below. If you want a .co.uk then there are prices assigned to the different ones then we're going to hit continue. On the choose a plan page there are two different options. You can have one year of prepaid which is $9.95 a month and two years is $8.95 a month. Obviously for the longer plan you get a cheaper deal. However, for most people, especially if you're setting it up for the first time, I just recommend going with a one year plan. You can always update it later. Just click the block that you want to use. I'm going to go for one year prepaid at $9.95 a month and click on the continue button. And here all I have to do is fill in all of my details and down the bottom here you have a special promo code for me. That's right. That's right. So if you write in Jane and Filbert, you will get some money off your first year. Here we can add in all our car details, make sure that you agree to the terms of service. And the best thing about this is you've got a two week cooling off period. So if you need to cancel this at any point within the first two weeks, it's absolutely free, which is great because, you know, you might be setting this up while you're completely drunk and realise in the morning that you don't want to have a website. That's fine. Once you've done that, just click on the complete sign up button. We're creating your account. Exciting! And basically just gives you some extra options if you want to have a private web server, private MySQL server, but we want neither of those. We're just going to hit continue and ignore it. Welcome to DreamHost. You have set up your hosting. I want you to just for a second just give yourself a big pat on the back or a round of applause. That's my round of applause for you there. And now we can continue to your web panel. And here we're going to log in using the details that you that you gave to set up and log in. So here you are in your dashboard. You're all set up and you are ready to go. Some people may have account pending notices. 
that is absolutely fine. Often it just means that you've entered some details on your credit card that aren't necessarily congruent with the stuff that you've actually entered in. That's fine. Just get them to, to call you um, or to email you and it will all get set up. There will be a link for it on your main dashboard page. Now, from our dashboard, what we want to make sure is that actually our domain is fully hosted before we go installing any WordPress stuff. Now, this takes a couple of seconds. Honestly, it's really simple. So from the quick links here on the right hand side, just click on domains. And this will load up all the domains that you have. Mostly it should just be the one domain that you've got. Obviously, I've got a few of them. But this is my main account here. And what you want to see is under web hosting next to your domain name is it says fully hosted. If it just says DNS only, like this one here, all you need to do is click the add button and it will come up with a couple of options that you just need to fill in. Just fill it in as I'm doing it now. Where it says, do you want to have the www dot in your URL? I say leave it alone so that both yourdomainname.com and www.yourdomainname.com will work exactly the same. We want to run the domain under the user, so make sure that this is just selected as the username that you have selected. The web directory, now that's just basically putting all of your stuff in its own separate little directory. That's great, just leave it as, leave it as what it has. Make sure that the PHP mode is PHP 5.3 X fast CGI, that's the default. Keep the extra web security ticked. Everything else you can just ignore and then you can fully host this domain by clicking on the fully host this domain button. And it's been had added to the hosting system. Now that is only and only if it is not already fully hosted. Now, before we go installing WordPress, we need to make sure exactly where you're going to be storing your site. Now, if, like most people, you will actually want to be able to access your site by going to yourdomainname.com, no forward slash anything, no forward slash blog, no forward slash site. You just want someone to type in your domain name and get to your site. We need to make sure that where we've actually set up that area of hosting, there aren't any files in it at all. We need to make sure it's clean and clear so that WordPress can just install without any issues whatsoever. So what we need to do, first of all, is access the FTP. Now, don't be scared. You need to know about this stuff. If you're going to have a website, you're going to need to embrace a couple of technical terms. Now, it's not that technical. FTP basically stands for File Transfer Protocol. And... To the average layman, what it basically means is how to access your files on your server. So you know how you open My Documents on your own computer, on your PC for instance, or if you've got a Mac, your Documents folder in there and you can see all your files. That's what FTP does, but it just opens it up on your web server. Not scary at all when I mention it like that, is it? What we need to do first of all is access your files via FTP. And to do that, we're going to go down here on the left hand side to your users and we want to manage users. Now you're probably going to have one user on it. I've got a couple, this is my main account. Now the email that you will have been sent through from DreamHost when you set up everything, go and check it now if, just to check that you've actually got it to, to the main email address that you set it up. You will find an email which has all the details of the user, the FTP user and the password. Now you can keep that password or what I prefer to do is make sure that you've got a brand new password. So first of all what we want to do is go and edit your user and down here all you need to do is add a new password and confirm the password and you can even get it to pick a password for you but you need to make sure that you've saved it, copied it and it's all hidden away somewhere in your brain safely. And Once you've done that just click on the save changes and you'll be redirected back to your managed users page. Now I haven't changed my password because I don't want to change my password. You will get a little success message to say that it's all been done. It'll be a little green message at the top just underneath where it says manage users. It takes anything up to maybe five to ten minutes just to make sure that all the changes have been switched around in your account. Once that's done we want to go to the web FTP login. Now you can also do this by downloading something like FileZilla, which I do recommend. However, if you're only going to be using it for one site, and to be honest, 
just for the ease of use, what we want to do is just nip into the web FTP login here. And again, on that email that you got from DreamHost, it has all the details, what your host name is, you then put in your username and you put in the password that you've just chosen if you've just updated it. Then you log in. You need to then navigate to the folder that you want to change, which I've done here. And as you can see, it's added three files I don't really need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control, and I'm assuming that's the Apple button on an Apple Mac, and then click on each of the files that we have here, and I'm going to click Delete. I want to permanently delete these files, so I'm going to click OK. So once and only once you have done the last two things that I have mentioned, that is one, check that your domain name is completely fully hosted, otherwise this won't work, and you've made sure that there are absolutely zero files in the main domain folder. Now we can get on with installing WordPress. We go to One Click Installs, it's down the left hand side underneath Goodies, and on this page we then click on WordPress, and we click on the big blue custom installation button. It is really simple, it's this simple. So what we want to do is select a domain. Now, I want it to, to actually install right directly on the route. I want someone to type in www.mydomain.com and get to my website. I'm not gonna add anything well, after it says the forward slash because what that will do is it'll create a new folder and add the file into that folder. Then it makes it all that much more difficult. But I'm gonna leave it blank and that is why I made sure that I deleted all the files that were in that folder originally because it says here please be sure that there are no files there now. We want to automatically create a database and I don't need a deluxe install because a deluxe install just basically adds a whole bunch of gumph which we don't really need. And then we hit the install it for me now. It says that it's been successful. WordPress will be installed here within 10 minutes and we'll receive an email with final instructions to configure it very, very shortly, and I'll be back with you in just a second. So here is the email that they have sent me, which just basically says, the most important thing that I need to do is create an admin user here, which I will do right this second. So here you are, all you need to do now is just add this bit of information, and you are pretty much done. Add a site title, whatever you want it to be, you can change it at any point. Add your username, which I generally recommend to be your email address. It must, must not, absolutely not, do not make it admin. Don't use admin, don't use it. Anything with admin in it's rubbish. Add in a nice strong password, add in your email address below, and tick whether you want to allow search engines to index the site or not. Now, as, it's, as you're first starting out, um, unless you want to get started and cracking straight away, leave this ticked. Otherwise, if you've got a bit of work that you want to do before you want to let people see it, just untick that and then click on the Install WordPress. And there we go. All you need to do now is log in using your details. Voila, here's your dashboard. You can click on here to visit your new site. It will just be a generic theme, which I believe at the moment is the 2014 theme. So there you go. That's it. You've actually done it. Round of applause for you. Hooray! You now have a website that you can gussy up and style up with different themes and you can add all your content to, you can use it as a blog, as a website, whatever you want. In fact, I even have more details about that in my other free course called Pimp Your WordPress Site, um, which you can get access to on janeandfilbert.com. That's it. You've done it. You've set up a website, you've set up your domain name, you've set up your web hosting. Basically, you are now extra awesome. Well done, you. I hope this was helpful and useful for you. And please, if you have any other questions, you can contact me through my website, janeandfogel.com. My name is Gemma. It's been a pleasure.